school curves. Um, it's about half an hour drive, but I think I've said before that things here do seem to be a little bit further away than what you would drive to in the UK, especially in London. Um, I find that the after school clubs are really good here though. Uh, they're normally like a 10 week, 12 week program, which is basically like a term. Uh, in Australia, there's four terms and they're really cheap. Like I think this basketball one was $60, so that's say 35, 40 pound. And for that, they get their 10 to 12 weeks. Um, and also like, can you see the little basketball shirts they're wearing with their names on? So they got that and they got a basketball and they got stickers. Um, and stuff like that and there's quite a lot of those type of clubs that go on like Jess just signed up for Auskick which is similar um, it lasts for like a term and they get a free backpack and a free uh, ball and uh, yeah a similar thing that was more expensive that was 120 maybe but I still think that's really good because if you divide 120 dollars um, which remember is only about say 70 pound if you divide that by 10 or 12 you're only looking at like seven dollars a week or seven pound a week and then they get all the free stuff as well um, so yeah I personally think the clubs are really good I would say that over here um, life is quite geared towards clubs if you know what I mean like the children uh, do a lot of clubs well the children we know do so Jet at the moment will be doing basketball he does swim in a club and he does swim in a school um, he also does Oz kick um, he's also on the waiting list for gymnastics which is like a sort of ninja warrior type gymnastics um, but yeah it's pretty geared over here to sort of like sports and sports clubs which is maybe why they're so accessible and cheap um, but yeah, I thought I'd just chat to you about that while I'm here. So yeah, over now.